Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the Parktronic is located, which fuse controls it, where you can buy cheap parts and tools, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL. Why? Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys, you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located, where fuel injector fuse is located. Uh, all you have to do watch the video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, you're back on the roll. So we make it for your convenience guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So where you can expect to find that Parktronic fuse, we will demonstrate on this GMC Yukon right here. If you have a Yukon XL, practically it's the same vehicle, it's just longer guys, but they're built on the same platform, it will work for both. You have multiple fuse boxes, but today we're working just one that's on the inside. So you need to open the driver door, here on the side of the dash you have a cover, go ahead Go ahead, remove that cover and underneath you'll find the main interior fuse box that we have a layout like that one. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So here guys, for the Parktronic, which fuse we need to check, it's just one of them. Oh and by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for GMC, Yukon or any car at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Check it out, you can save quite a bit of money. Coming here guys, you have, uh, you count them like that, fuse number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuse number 20, that's the one that you will guys need to check. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time. 